Last episode was a lot of exposition knowing more about this world of politics, right? So basically there's this king faction and anti-king faction and everyone's kind of waging war against each other trying to see who can, you know, get to the next throne and the queen and the king offers us Edwin. Ain't nobody want the second prince. Where is the first prince? He doesn't exist. Did he get exiled? Is he dead? I don't know, but it's really interesting how the crown prince who should be the firstborn is still not mentioned, yet only Edwin, the second prince, is pretty much kind of placed in the position of the crown prince. Yumila just says, nah, I don't want any of them. The battle against Adolf. Sorry, Adolfu. Adolfu, that was pretty cool. Adolfu was a pretty cool knight, and we got to also meet, what's that girl? Eleonore, right? So she's, is she the villainous in this ultimate game? Right? Because she seems to be like that Angie type, right? If you've seen Mopseka, Angie, right? It's the girl that's supposed to be engaged with the, you know, the crown prince, but then the crown prince like cheats on, you know, with like another girl. So like, I think Eleanor deserves way better. She's a little dumb, right? She's a little special, but at the same time, I adore her and I think she deserves better than Edwin. I just don't know how we're going to convince her. And where the fuck is Patrick? It's been four episodes. Still no Patrick. Now, I'm sure anime owners have no idea what I'm talking about, but if you watch the opening and the ending, NPC character number 376 with the gray hair is actually named Patrick. And if you see the ending, there's a lot of scenes that implies that this is the official ship, yet he's still not showing up. Well, he has. He hasn't had official di dialogue lines. And I think we ended off last episode with this dumbass girl showing up saying, You mean I said, are you, are you the demon lord? Let's begin today's reaction. No. If we were to be a crazy plot twist. Wait. This just makes us look even worse. Because we straight up had last episode the king explained that, hey, there's a lot of prejudice on dark magic and people with black hair because that's associated with the demon lord. Oh. I thought that demon lord is like a common concept, not the fact that the demon lord is coming back in two years, but like everybody kind of still knows. Wait, is she cooking or is she kind of jumping ahead and Alicia is actually dumb and doesn't know? Okay, Ed, Ed fucking leaked. Edwin. <laughs> yeah. He sucks. Okay. Okay, but then you just jump to the conclusion? Because we use dark magic? Say it! Black one! Racist! No, cancel Alicia, dude. Cancel Alicia, dude. She's judging us by the color of our hair. Racist. How are we the victims here? This bitch shows up out of nowhere. Incites that we might be the demon lord. Everyone else is now jumping to the conclusion that we might be the demon lord. And then on top of that, you motherfuckers jump in to see you're the victims? You're the victims? Cancel this bitch. Cancel all of them, dude. Racist! We're the victim! Yeah, Edwin, you leak confidential information. No, Edwin's too dumb, though. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? <laughs> Entire cafeteria is listening on their fucking feet. It is true that the demon lord will return two years. Is everybody listening? This is top secret, royal secret. Is everybody listening? He might be even dumber. <laughs> He might be even act I didn't think it was possible for these idiots to be like any more dumb or like just have like ridiculous moments. But here we are. Here we are. I just get, I, I am just astonished at this point. It's impressive actually. <laughs> the secret's fucking leaked. You guys better level up during that time. <laughs> True. Think about it. Come on, let's fight then. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> nah, I'd win. So you're just gonna believe? <laughs> yeah, come Oz, come on. I expect you to be a little bit smarter. That's kind of true. It's, just, it's a little bit sus, I guess, the power. Mm. Maybe we're not that strong. Maybe you guys are weak. 
Is this how we... So we're actually like making them train through this like hatred motivation. Interesting. Nope. Nope. I want them to die. Nope. Don't care. Nope. Nope. They're gonna get cocky or they're gonna get power tripping. Nope. Don't do it. No! Ah, yeah. Alright, just farm monsters. Dungeon? Monster? Kill! Level up! <laughs> this is what- this is basically- you ever like start a new game? But you have no idea what's going on, so you like want to be like a bit of a, like a meta gamer, right? So you're gonna do a little bit of research. You're gonna type like I don't know, Elden Ring best builds Reddit or some shit, Monster Hunter World best guide, whatever, right? Then some dude that's been putting like five thousand hours into the game is gonna have like a paragraph of like the most min max way of explaining. <laughs> and what she's doing right now is just boom, boom, min max strat. They don't have any idea what's going on. This is some like this is some high key like some really good secret. Yeah, that's right. Fight solo, take off the am amulet with protection. Remember, even like um Adolf, right? She's the uh the strongest knight. He was scared to take off the fucking amulet. But she's like, nah, fuck all that shit. You know, two times EXP, get the flute, provoke them, you're solo farming this EXP easy. Alright, which dungeon is best then? And she is a gamer, dude. She is an absolute fucking gamer. You know that no one is going to even bother listening to the sage advice because they have no clue how godly of an advice this is. They're probably going to be like, you're the demon lord and run away. Yeah, carry your own weight by yourself and die. Well, to another gamer, but to them, it's like, what are you talking about? Why is Edwin mad? Why are you upset, dude? Huh? If you... T <laughs> Wait. No, because Edwin's probably thinking like... It's, it, it, it's not that we're trying to kill you. If you die, it just means that you're so fucking weak. We just gave you godlike advice on how to min-max this game and level up. Or you can spend the next fucking two years doing fucking nothing and barely level up and die from the yeah. Demon Lord. Chibi faces to go too hard, man. <laughs> if you're afraid. <laughs> Die. Die. I hate you. <laughs> Are they, though? Yeah, I mean, this kind of goes against, like, the logic and reason in this world, right? Like, the amulet protection is, like, super huge. Again, Adolfo, right? The strongest knight even was like, what the fuck? You were crazy enough to do that? <laughs> yeah, they're dark-type dungeons that only opens on Thursdays, guys. Oh, they're terrified. Not the best uh, impressions that we left on them. Why is Alicia so wary of me? Good question. Why does she care so much? She already has the princess. She doesn't need to do anything. Why is she going out of her way? Like, why, why is she so focused on us, huh? Even in the opening and other scenes, right? Alicia is, like, looking at us in the back of the school. She's just, like... Then again, maybe she's just straight up racist. It's our black hair, dude. <laughs> Interesting. Isekai character? Alicia, Isekai character, and she's aware that, you know, uh, Eumelia is basically operating in a totally different way? That could be, or maybe this is a red herring. Maybe she's just dumb. Okay. I bet your cookies are ass! They're dookie! No, she's failing! Darkness stalking. Still stalking. Nice girl. Nah, you know she's a demon, right? She's probably hiding her true face. Conquerable characters. You merely like. No, never mind. I thought you merely like cats. Fuck you, Alicia. How do. You could, we went all the way up in the street just to, to spy here like this. This is pretty funny. Dude. Like, look at this shit, dude. Look, look at this. She's <laughs> alright. Okay, she seems very nice so far. Maybe she's just really dumb. Intentionally? She only hangs out with the boys? I bet Nekrochan hated that. Fuck you, Alicia. Pet the cat. Pet, 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 pet. Yes! Nekrochan! <gasps> The cat's racist too. <laughs> Why, Neko-chan? Black flame. 
animals are terrified? I guess maybe they all instinctively are afraid of like dark magic. <gasps> Patrick! NPC number 376, Patrick! First line! He's actually talking! Yeah. You don't have to explain yourself like that, Sharon. Oh. He wants to say something. What? 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 That really? The darkness? Maybe it is just like an affinity thing, huh? It's like that was kind of the picture was uh okay. Before I play defense for Alicia. What the fuck? This is how you see us? This is how you see us? But here, here, here. Maybe Alicia is like, uh, she's light affinity. Okay, yeah, she's racist. Yeah, she's racist. But beyond that, she is light affinity. So instinctively, dark magic, dark affinity is like kind of like, you know, instinctively, you, you're wary of it, right? Or she just fucking drew a Emila here, blackface. She's racist. That's right. Okay, Alicia's racist. Okay, she's just racist. <laughs> Frightening? Because of the color of her hair? The color of her magic? We missed something there. She said something about the cat there too. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought they kind of did an explanation on like why animals might be scared of like dark affinity. Compatibility of attributes, you know, it's, it's like water, fire. There might be a little bit of a mix, you know. It's like counter, you know. If if the element kind of counters you, you might have, like innately kind of be scared of them. I don't know. No, it was actually pretty easy for her. All you have to do was take the amulet, two times the XP, provoke the monsters, farm them. She's probably the only one that could rival the power right now. You guys aren't gonna get there in two years. Well, lame. I don't wanna help them. She is sometimes a nice girl like this, but I gotta remember that she's racist. No, no, don't get fooled by this smile. She's racist. Mm -mm. No, not falling for it. No. Yeah, she's not an isekai character, so we kind of confirmed that. Maybe? We don't know yet. Oh? Who's there? Well, this is new? Just based off of his looks, he doesn't look too trusting. I don't really like it. The music leading up to this was kind of, you know, ominous too. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Resigned? Wait, what, what, what do you mean resigned? The smile looks very fake, but it's the fact that he's smiling with his eyes too, which kind of scare me. Look at this shit, dude. Ah, something about that smiling with his eyes also scary. So principal, technically, when we summoned the black hole, right? The principal and Edwin said that they take, you know, responsibility. Was that their responsibility? <laughs> the principal just got fired for doing that shit. <laughs> or I feel like he might have done something because he took personal interest in Yumila, right? Like, the resign seems a little bit sus, right? So, and some other people are saying, is this guy the crown prince, the first prince? He looks sus, but at least he's not racist. That's right, guys. Alicia's racist! Is he supposed to know that? Okay. I don't trust that tea. Nah. What pride? They were so fucking weak and useless. Maybe relative to everyone else here, it makes sense. But like, come on, bro. They fucking suck. Alright, I'm just gonna say fake news. We're just gonna say fake news to the Demon Lord news. Okay. We're not the Demon Lord, we're the hidden boss. Are you sure? Are you sure? Hmm. <laughs> More chibi. He's got a poker face on, pretty strong. So. Oh. What, what, why? Field lesson sounds like practical stuff, but we gotta do fucking random admin work? Paperwork? He's benching us? What? Oh god, the CGI! Oh my god, that CGI is so shiny! Ah. 
Ah, I mean, it's a random mob monster. It's not too bad. <laughs> it's so jarring. Then they can't really level up either. Yeah, they can't really train. Because we're a country bumpkin, right? So doesn't that mean that if there's more monsters outside, the regional noble should be like stronger on average compared to everyone else? Edwin. Am I right to assume that the central nobles are just a bunch of fucking pussies because they don't get much action because they're hidden behind the walls, but the regional ones, you know, they're in the countryside, but there's monsters out there without proper protection, so they gotta fight more? Special training for them, wow, how privileged. She likes that. Only 40? But, yeah, we need way more. Yeah, that's kind of unreasonable. Yeah, that's kind of unreasonable. Well, unless we get two times the XP with the amulet of, you know, that stuff. Oh, it's the magic teacher that I really like. She was the only one that kind of, like, vouched for us. Unite them. Unite the regional nobles. Oh. Patrick said the same word. We're synchronized. Inefficient? This implies that this guy knows more about the leveling. I'm Patrick Ashbutton. Okay, formations. Well, maybe Eleanor was the first friend. Alright, basic formations against CGI, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I just zoned out, but basically just saying strategy for different formation works, okay. Look at all the TV humilias. It'd be fun for practice. Don't do it! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run! Oh, shit. <laughs> just casually calls over all the monsters nearby. Wow, immediately Patrick assumes the position of leadership. Look at this guy. Yo, he's a true leader. Captain. That's my king, man. That's my prince. Totsugeki. <laughs> yeah, kill those CGI hellhounds. Shield. Hold! Hold the line! Kakoi Patrick Sama! Miela watching and observing, kind of acknowledging Patrick's leadership. Bro, the budget for this episode is just so non existent. They're doing PowerPoint presentations for the CGI now. Okay, listen. It's the fight here is not important. You already show me the power difference by summoning black hole, all that stuff. The animation in episode two was great, but holy fuck! If you're gonna give me CGI dog shit like this, at the very least, don't do a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> so lazy, but hey, we gotta save the button for something else. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I don't really care about the CGI that much. What do you mean? It was a great experience. Because you just endangered their lives. They were fighting for their fucking lives. You think that it's just fun and games and just letting them practice. They could have died there. <laughs> it's because he used the flu out of nowhere. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> Round two? <laughs> Round <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Wait, what did she say? Wait, what, what, what did she just say? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll stop the monster's movement. Yo, that's a pretty cool scene from Yumiela, right? She is power leveling them, though. She's straight up just like over leveled and up here, just fucking pulling aggro and just coming to the low level guys and just letting them leech EXP. Alright, get him! Poke him! Come on, leech the EXP, come on! Level him up! Yeah, it's fine, poke him. <laughs> More chibi moments. <laughs> well, I think I missed things up there. I missed something there. Okay. Oh, it's that they won't get attacked by the dark binding. I see, I see. I kind of missed something. I'm like, what are they talking about? Okay, okay, I see. It's like, they're scared of the magic more than the fucking CGI monsters. More chibi moments. 
<laughs> By you, Emila. Patrick with the first kill? Easy. Get him, go level up. Yeah. He's a captain, dude. Natural leader. Is is a Margrave like an important title? Because like there's like Viscount, there's like Baron. Is Margrave like kind of on the lower end or is that like higher end? I don't really know these like medieval fucking hierarchies, man. Okay, combat before you're enrolled. I guess you meant no harm. Yeah, she's just trying to level you guys. So she just still doesn't understand. She just she still doesn't understand. Grateful. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this, dude. Look at this. Ready? 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 Okay. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> dude, this is the fucking... Look, the act of heroism from Patrick is amazing, but goddamn, the animation is so fucking bad. The CGI monster is like biting, but the angle is so fucking scuffed. They just basically copy pasted this fucking CGI on top of his arm. I don't even know if he's biting him or not. What is he doing, dude? What do you, what do you mean? All right, fuck, fuck that CGI. Punch him. Damn. That CGI bite was... What? I thought light magic would have fucking recovery. Dark magic has healing? This is fucking busted. This is actually way too busted. I thought dark magic specializes in... I don't know, debuffs? Like, I don't know, like, just destructive power? But she fucking heals too? It's just ridiculous. No, I'm not being racist! I'm saying that dark magic is amazing, okay? <laughs> he was not turned on by that. <laughs> Okay. Side effects on people with other attributes. What happens if we heal Alicia? Because she's the opposite, right? So if Patrick, who's like Earth Element, is fine, sure, he's a test rat, right? But like, what happens if we heal Alicia? We should try it. We should go try it. <laughs> we should try it. <laughs> oh, come on, it was heroic. I know it raised you up. Aww. Look at this. <gasps> oh my god, he's so pretty. He's so handsome. He's so cool. Her heart went Doki Doki. Actual Doki Doki moment. Will you go out me? Never mind. Never mind. No, 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 no. <laughs> She is trying to farm so fucking hard. There's no time. It's like, go, 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 go. It's fucking burning hour right now. Four times the XP. Come on. Today's an event day. Don't you know, Patrick? We got to farm. She just did it again. Three times. Now, this is going to be very interesting as we move forward because the regional, you know, the, the, the countryside you know, nobles are getting power farmed by Yumila. Well, the central figures, they're just fucking around. Now, the new principal did say that he has, like, training lessons, special ones for the Prince Trio, but what if our regional nobles are now just stronger on average than everyone else compared to the central side? That'd be pretty cool, right? Over and over. Yeah, four, five? Four or five times? <laughs> and that's the episode. Patrick has finally shown up, and goddamn, he's great. He's not a simp. He's just a good person. He's just been raised properly. He's very respectful. He's got that leadership. He's got that charisma. Bro is the actual main love interest for our girl, Yumila. Yumila doesn't need protection. She doesn't. She is the hidden boss, but that doesn't matter. It's about the... It's about the fact that he actually cared for her. Not fully aware that she can completely take care of herself. Right? That doesn't matter. He wanted to protect her even though he's weaker. And I think, honestly, what? That is Riz, dude. Now, can we talk about the animation of this episode? Bro, $12, $12 budget. <laughs> the chibi scenes were better animated. And I think the monster calling flute is literally CGI too. I'm not completely sure. There's some sus moments. But the CGI monsters doesn't matter. Mm, it's a little bit jarring, to be honest. When we're dealing with random CJ monsters for the sake of power farming, like it's not a serious scene, right? So it's not that big of a deal. Honestly, the CGI could have made it even funnier, right? The fact, that, like, like, if it were real monsters, maybe would have more more threatening situations. But 
Maybe the CGI kind of, like, they did it intentionally because it'd be funnier because this is just a goofy episode, right? Whatever, it's, t it's totally fine. And again, all the budget is safe for the Shibi scenes and when Yumelia actually kind of, like, does shit, right? Now, what are the other important things? Other important things is the fact that Alicia is a complete racist. That's right, Alicia is a racist. She hates our dark magic. She hates our black hair color. She's a fucking racist, dude. And the other princes, they're still just so fucking bad. The prince is so dumb that he's fucking leaking the news, the royal secret. We have to fucking say about these, like, you know, these, uh, what's, what's the word? We gotta, we gotta call it fake news and try to kind of, like, hide the, 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 the fake news, right? But these, like, stalking scenes from Yumiela, they were very cute, too. It kind of sucks that no cat will ever approach, you know, uh, Yumiela. But if, if, if the white cat, you know, likes Alicia... Maybe we can get like a Kuro Neko, you know? Maybe we can get a black cat. Maybe a black cat would be like a Yumila too. I would like her to get like some kind of pet. Actually, if you see the opening or the ending, she does have like a dragon mount, which is still not showing up yet. If you look at episode one or two, there's a couple of moments where they have a focus on this dragon uh, statue. So for sure, that's going to happen. I'm not really sure when, but hopefully that happens. But Patrick... Dub character, so much better than the Brother Princess. And this doesn't really feel like a forced romance either because he just stepped in, he was doing his shit. Then again, he was kind of like stalking Yumila, right? He was kind of just watching her, just like pet the cat. I wonder what that was about. But to be honest, I love him. He's great. He's a respectable person, way better than the princess, and he's a fun guy. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.